and welcome to an off well side by side video i just want to share an update that google maps have done on the latest update on apple carplay a lot of you won't have satellite navigation on your toyota yaris's unless you've got an xl or a premium or you put the city pack on your gr sport that's toyota's navigation system I only use it when I've got no phone signal and I'm desperate for sat nav. I'm on Apple CarPlay and I like satellite maps. That's why I like to use Google. I'm not a fan of maps that look like that. I want a bit more detail. I know. Let me put an address in. I'm going to see a customer. Head east on Pentwood Widell Road. You can see the screen. You should also be able to see the speedometer down here. That is a cracking place to park, right Mr. Taxi. In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto Abergeny Road. Right. If you were watching the screen in the centre on the um, infotainment system, you'd have seen that pop up. Two bits of information there. One we've always had, which is the number 30, which is the speed limit on this road. And it's always done that Google Maps, but the one next to it is new. It actually gives you your GPS speed on the map, which it's never done before, and it's now doing it on this latest update. What I want to do when I get onto a 50 miles an hour road is yeah, see nice. what the difference is between that readout on that readout. doing an indicated 41 miles an hour on the um, dashboard and the GPS speed is showing 39, 38 oh the car's actually slowed down to 40 it's gone on to regen braking so it's knocked about a mile an hour off the speedo radar cruise drop down the hill I go through Clandalus then I'm onto a 50 miles an hour road and I'll point out something else that Google haven't quite updated yet they haven't updated all the speed limits because it's saying 30 miles an hour but I know this is actually a 20 so there are a few things wrong with Google Maps and one of them is they don't always get that right but saying that my road sign recognition symbol is also saying 30 so it hasn't found a 20 miles an hour camera to rectify itself either right this section of road up here is the 50 over the hill over the crest and then i'll get onto a flat bit of road 
and I'll rearm cruise control and let's see what the difference is on the speedometer on the car compared to actual GPS readout on the um, satellite navigation. Now this road is 50 but Google still thinks it's 60 but the car knows it's 50 because it's seen that sign. So cruise is going on, cruise is armed, cruise is set at 51 miles an hour Car is doing 50, readout is saying 48, 47, 48, it's hovering. So either that's 2 miles an hour slow, or that's 2 miles an hour fast. That says I'm doing 48, that says I'm doing 50. So which one's right? Let's go to 52 on the radar. So I've got 52 on the radar now. In a quarter of a mile, now the roundabout, take the second exit. 52 on the speedo equates to 49, 50 miles an hour GPS. So there's a two mile an hour discrepancy can live with that. I'm hoping that's right and that's wrong. Exit the roundabout. That was all I wanted to share with you. The latest update on Google Maps that I like. I really like that extra little function there, your actual GPS speed. Right, once again, as always, please consider liking, please consider subscribing, update your Google Maps if you're using Apple CarPlay, and leave a comment below, and thank you for watching. Thank you.